So I recently had a client project where I had to create three different backgrounds for the same animation. And it was super tedious until I realized that I could do it all within the compositor. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. Guys, go ahead and open up Blender here. All right, so we're in our new document here. Let's go ahead and snap to the camera. Let's go and turn this on to Cycles, GPU. Let's give ourselves 10 samples because we don't really need a lot for this tutorial here. And then if you scroll down to where it says Film here, you wanna go ahead and check Transparent. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch to render view right here, and you should see something like this. So now we have a transparent background, and we can swap it out for anything we want. One additional thing I'm gonna do is go to my output properties, and I'm just gonna switch this to 25% right here so that we're just exporting a very low resolution photo. Head over to your compositing tab here and click on use nodes. Add in a mix node here, and go ahead and plug it in as follows. You wanna plug in the alpha to the FAC, and you wanna plug in the image to that bottom image slot right there. So just like that. We're also gonna add a viewer node in here so that we can see what's going on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and plug the image into the image there. So now when we click render, we'll be able to see what's actually happening. And then go to our color here, and I'm just gonna choose a pink color so that we can really see what is happening here. And I'm gonna go ahead and render our image. And as you can see, our image rendered really quickly because it's a low resolution, and we have our pink background. So just like that, we're swapping out an alpha channel for a new background. Super simple. Now I'm gonna show you how we can export three backgrounds at once. Super quick, I'm gonna click on my viewer here and I'm just gonna move it off to the side so that we have more room to see what our nodes are gonna look like. So I went ahead and created three folders, folder one, folder two, and folder three, and we're gonna be using these for our output properties. Let's add a file output node and we're going to output our image from the mix into the file output. And then I'm just gonna move everything around here just to give us a bit more room so we can actually see what's going on. Let's go ahead and locate our folder on the desktop. I'm gonna select folder one for this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and render my image again. And now if we go to our desktop, we can see that our image is outputted to the correct folder. And now we're gonna set everything else up and link these next two folders here. To duplicate everything, I'm just gonna highlight my file output in my mix. Shift D is the shortcut to duplicate, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do that twice. So now you'll have something like this. And then I'm just gonna plug everything in as I had it before. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this part for you guys. Now that everything is plugged in the way I want it, I'm gonna select my other two folders right here. So I'm gonna select folder two for the second output. And for our third output, I am gonna select folder three. Now that those are set up, I'm just gonna choose two new colors. I'm thinking blue for this middle one and yellow for the bottom one. And now that this is all set up, I'm gonna click render, render image. And if we go back to our folders, you can see that we have three outputted images to each folder with different backgrounds. So there's the magic of it all. That's how you do that. This also works with animations as well. So if you have the cube spinning, for example, and you go ahead to export all of your uh, PNGs into a sequence, they can actually export to separate folders and then you can run them through your video compiler and you have three animations with one render click. So it's super efficient, really, really clever way in the compositor to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna minimize all this and leave these nodes up on the screen so you can go ahead and copy them to your liking. And remember guys, if you wanna add, let's say another folder, Literally just duplicate that, plug everything in as before, make your new folder on your desktop, and select the new output, and you have another background just like that. So it's super simple, and I'm also gonna show you one more trick on how to add an image to the background. So I've set up a fourth folder for this image example. Now I'm gonna add two nodes. I'm gonna add an image node, just like that, and I'm gonna add a scale node. And now what we wanna do is we're gonna plug the image into the a scale here and then the image of the scale into the second image right here and then instead of relative we want to click on render size and we're gonna click on crop now we just need to select an image and I'm gonna go ahead to my downloads I'm gonna select this image of this owl because I think it's really cool I'm gonna go ahead and render our image and then if we go over to our output right here is our image of the owl with the cube on top of it so as you can see we just clicked on a random image and we put it as our background. So it was super simple. I'm gonna also show these nodes for a second so that you can see what's going on here. Um, you can do a color, you can do an image. I'm sure it probably works for videos as well. You just need to configure it properly. Um, so there's your nodes. Uh, that's all you need to know, guys. This is how you output multiple 
images at once with different backgrounds uh, with the same render. So super efficient, super, super awesome tutorial here, guys. Definitely take a note of these nodes. I can guarantee they'll come to use in a later project. Please like, comment, subscribe, the usual stuff. I will see you in the next tutorial.